with Elrond hitting new all-time highs, what is next here for eGold? Guys, as we get into this technical analysis for Elrond, if you find it useful and informative, hit the like button. I really do appreciate that. If you are new to the channel, then do subscribe, tap the bell, select all notifications, and in doing so, you will be kept up to date with absolutely everything that we do here at Cheeky Crypto. Right, with that said, done that way, let's get into this technical analysis on Elrond and talk about what is going on. Obviously, we have seen a new all-time highs get hit today and obviously we want to be talking about what could be on the horizon next for eGold and we can see this weekly chart has been pretty polished uh, and we've seen a pretty decent kind of pullback during this fourth wave um, correction and again this was a fantastic opportunity to basically dollar cost a better average position or to enter the project if you missed out on this kind of first wave to this upside here and there was an opportunity to basically just get Elrond at a little bit of a cheaper price before we go up to the next level and um, so right now we are talking about another 200% um, before we start to see the bull run kind of peak out here for Elrond, we are partially towards our first target and going to get into that on the smaller time frames in a moment. We can see that from the low levels for Elrond here when you were accumulating down at about six to five, five to six dollar range. I don't know how low that actually was, uh, as low as six dollars, sorry. And um, so from six dollars all the way up to the high points up here. Um, where we were actually tracking it around uh, $244. That was about 4,000% in gains. Not the best, but definitely a significant push to the upside. Um, obviously, you know, we're talking about moving from late October um, through to, I think it was like May, yeah, April, May time um, this year. Um, so 4,000% gains is very good. Obviously, there's uh, no bank that's going to offer you that anyway, but not as good as some of these other projects out there. That being said, this correction wave that we saw has seen a nice corrective period here and a good place to accumulate a significant significant portion of Elrond before we started to see the next traction. Now, obviously setting new all-time highs right now, going higher than we have previously. And obviously, if anyone who has been watching our Elrond videos already, will know where our price targets are set. Um, but obviously, you know, 200%, not too bad. So let's actually jump down into our daily. Okay, and talk about where things are likely to go. Okay, and um, so on the daily chart, we need to acknowledge what's been going on. Obviously, we got the cross past our 786 area earlier in the week. A weekly close up here today is going to be fantastic move for Elrond to obviously see significant growth further forward. We can see that we are now up in the overbought area, but again, this is an area that we can be up here for quite some time. As indicated previously during this wave over here, for example, we entered the overbought area down here and we didn't actually exit this overbought area until much higher up. So, right now, no that we've only just entered this area we can again have a motion like this and um, but much higher so again everything's looking pretty good here for Elrond now obviously the Fibonacci retracement areas um, for Elrond here do come in at some interesting zones we have the 1.618 coming in at $365 like I said we're partially on the way to that journey uh, we have the 2.618 coming in at $558 we have the 3.618 coming in at 750 and the 4.236 coming in at $870. Okay, so overall, those are our targets. To get to that full extension of 4.236, it's about 209% from the current position here um, as we record this video. So a good push to the upside. Obviously, we are halfway towards our 1.618 target. So again, we'll be monitoring that situation on all time frames to see when we actually get to this level here. So right now, we're actually doing really well and tracking nicely here, considering, uh, you know, pushing past that all-time high setting a new all-time high and of course this weekly closed candle being up here is a real big bull signal of things to come so really important that we do acknowledge what's going on there and um, being overbought isn't a problem but we will eventually see a pullback and this gain will be a small pullback and like we had seen previously a good example of this is this sideways correction just here where we actually were overbought and tracking overbought and were able to basically reduce us all the way down to this oversold area whilst trading sideways if we're able to repeat this process up here for example we should have a pretty good tell and continue the growth to the upside here for Elrond and eGold uh, without any issues at all. So as long as Bitcoin behaves itself, I think we're going to be doing okay. We can see here is where Bitcoin actually had its uh, kind of tantrum and um, bringing the entire crypto space down with it. This being said, though, it actually had a pretty good effect on um, you know, Elrond here and eGold. We can see that we had a nice correction allowing us to grow. Otherwise, we were already actually quite close to the overbought area. Bitcoin's pullback actually just sped the process up of actually now going for this uh, this nice move to the upside. So overall, very, very good. And it's important that we talk about what's going on with the underlying data as well. And um, we could obviously take a look at the charts and take a look at what's going on here with various different indicators. But sometimes you need to use a little bit of artificial intelligence and machine learning to understand the underlying value of the cryptocurrency and whether or not we should be concerned about any of these metrics. Um, that's where evi.io comes into play. 
This uses machine learning and artificial intelligence to remove the high, high human bias when it comes to the underlying value of a cryptocurrency asset. We use a, a Vi.io um, basically to give us an indication of any liquidity issues, the fear and greed index for specific projects, is there risk to uh, rewards whilst holding Elrond, for example, the moving averages and the profitability, right? So um, overall, Elrond has got a rating of an A2. Uh, so that's basically the second best rating that this platform can provide. Um, A1 is obviously the best a2 is the second best right we can see that the ami had ratio this over here on the left hand side for elrond is an a2 rated so in terms of liquidity there are no problems there and um, the fear and greed index is up an a1 so extremely greedy this is quite obvious when we take a look at the candles really moving to the upside in a nice strong way and um, so again that's indicated here with an a1 rating so no issues there either other than the fact that we do obviously have to acknowledge that when things are extremely greedy this is usually when you take profits and when things are fearful you buy up that fear you blood has been spilt you buy it up now you don't buy all fear of course as we go into a bear market you want to avoid that and um, but during a bull run that we've been in for several months now there's lots of fear that's been up for sale and that is the fear that you buy and um, so normally when you see the uh, fear and greed index drop down low and um, to like a d rating and considering we're in a bull market those are the opportunities and when you start seeing a1 we have to be mindful that uh, profits are going to be taken uh, at some point in this kind of area and we should be expecting uh, a little bit of fear to start entering the market as that is profits are taken off the table with that being said though we are moving nicely to the upside and we obviously have to time this in line with many other resistance areas and uh, you know supports and things like that so overall the fear and greed index is looking very very good the moving averages up there in a2 rating no problem there um, as i said the risk to rewards you know perfectly fine with an a2 rating profitability is an a1 rating um, and the peak end value demand uh, it comes in at b2 so overall a2 rated cryptocurrency no problems at all from the underlying data the ai and machine learning um, usually are pretty good on this stuff so this updates every single day we check it out we make sure that there's no potential issues with our cryptocurrencies and for Elrond here nothing to report which is fantastic and um, so obviously no we're seeing good motion to the upside um, on the daily and the weekly let's take a look at that hourly what is going on most recently here now this is an interesting thing because uh, here we can see that actually we have a good push to the upside we hadn't see that here and um, we can also see that we are you now moving this needle to the upside right we we're tracking um, basically oversold down here we had this good push to the upside and we can see that we're overbought and we're having this correction right now and if we can continue to trade sideways across here whilst we bottom this out back to the oversold area we can continue that push to get up to that uh, that 1.618 area on the Fibonacci retracement area and um, that would basically be our first price target hit so uh, I would anticipate this will probably take a, a few hours or so uh, maybe a day and, and then we should start to see that traction obviously closing up here is a big bull signal anyway big bull flag that's going to be really strong for Elrond we seem to get the traction now going so hopefully this will continue to grow um, in a nice strong way and we continue to take out these price targets and um, so nothing to really report um, out of the ordinary with our hourly and um, we do zoom out $365 is the first price target that we have okay so we're on that journey I think uh, a little bit of a you know couple of sideways trades and then we should be up towards that first target there and um, before we start to see another correction come in um, and again that could just be trading sideways turning this from resistance into a support line and um, before moving up to that next level okay and that next level is $558 and um, so again lots of stuff now finally on the horizon here as we finally move back into this big bull signal big bull flag um, and we continue that push to the upside here for Elrond and um, guys I'm going to leave this video there I want to keep it nice brief and short nothing too strenuous nothing really too major to report everything is moving quite nicely to the upside um, and if you have found this video useful and informative hit the like button i really do appreciate that if you are new to the channel then do subscribe tap the bell select all notifications and in doing so you won't miss another update here for railroad right with that said done and out of the way i hope everyone has a fantastic day and i'll catch you all in the next one